Good morning and welcome to Adventure Planet, where today I'm here at Black Gang Chai in the Land of Imagination, a park that this year is celebrating its 180th anniversary. Absolutely incredible. This park dates back to 1843 and was actually opened by Alexander de Bell. And actually, his descendants still own and run the park today, which is pretty amazing. Now, there's no coasters at this park anymore. Unfortunately, they sold their last one to Dreamland Margate quite recently and actually there's not many rides here in general really however there's some great walkthrough attractions and great theming throughout it's a really really nice family park and they've also got some amazing um, heritage exhibitions here obviously there's a lot of history associated to this park so we'll be taking a look at those as we go through as well now if you want to come down to Black Gang Chine entry starts from 23 pounds up to around 30 pounds free on-site parking here as well and park hours today are 10 through until 4 30 p.m let's head on in to the oldest theme park here in the uk it's black gang Chine. let's go and in terms of location then just over the back here you'll see the car park which is all your on-site free parking and then just to the right you've got the entrance to the park here yeah look at this level the theming at the front here with these cannons yeah really really nice you've got like a little drop-off area here as well which circles around and then heads back out yeah love this smuggler 1987 he's been here since <laughs> i do believe he had a change of clothes back in 2016 so it doesn't look exactly the same as he did uh, back in 1987 but yeah look at the size of him absolutely huge now i am here a little bit early there's still another 30 minutes or so until park opening and there's a dragon that lives in this crate over here you can just see his hands and his horns he usually pops up every so often I'm just, i haven't seen him pop up yet so i don't know if he's actually working today or maybe he starts a little bit later but yeah he pops up to uh to say hello reminds me a little bit of the, of the dragon that you can find at chessington there but yeah again like all the theming here the theming on the little roundabout there as well and of course we have the new ride for 2023 extinction is what you can see just through there nice pendulum ride yeah it opened this year as part of the 180th anniversary of the park so we'll be getting on there on ride filming is permitted here at the park so yeah looking forward to getting on and just through the main entrance there we've got this pretty awesome animatronic dinosaur here which kind of starts off the restricted area 5 walkthrough which is kind of like an animated dinosaur walkthrough yeah we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later on but yeah the, the best thing about black gang china one of the best things is obviously its location here on the isle of wight you get some absolutely incredible views look at this yeah it's quite a hilly park but yeah you've got some great views of the cliffs going across here lots of greenery all the landscaping yeah it's really really good to see but the star of the show the signature ride here is of course extinction i'm gonna make that my first ride of the day today manufactured by zamperla it's about 60 feet tall this one it's not quite on the scale of axis that we rode the other day at adventure island but yeah we'll get on here and we'll take you on for the ride and you love the signage for all this across here this looks really really good just a quick look at the health and safety board as well for extinction yeah the usual kind of stuff for a pendulum swing feel free to pause the video and take a look at that no loose objects allowed but of course you can film on ride if you have a securely mounted gopro on a chest mount yeah love this look at this fantastic just the two rides closed today evolution which is a little junior drop tower and shipwrecked which we'll be taking a little look at later on but let's get on extinction yeah it looks awesome a lot of excitement here as well <laughs> open this year looking forward to this and what's interesting about this ride is you can actually ride the full 360 degrees if you want to go all over the top or you can just ride 120 degrees and just kind of go halfway so yeah it's a nice uh, nice little option if you don't quite want the intense 360 spin of course we're going to go on the 360 let's get on and here we go on extinction then brand new ride here for 2023 here at black gang shine yeah it should be a good one that's about 60 feet tall and the best thing about this is those views like i say hey yeah nice little gyro swing slash pendulum oh look at those views absolutely fantastic hey. oh almost 
start with that. Arms out, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some of that hang time. Way over the top. Twice over the top. Oh, the views are incredible. Ah, oh, the hang time. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great ride. Yeah, I wish we had more times over the top. But it's a good cycle nonetheless. And those views, absolutely fantastic. And there we are. Extinction. And some on and off ride footage there then of the new ride here at Black Gang Chine for 2023, Extinction, manufactured by Zamperla. And yeah, I mean, these rides aren't exactly intense. I didn't find Axis intense either. And this is on a, a much smaller scale, but I love the idea of being able to ride both the 360 and the 120 degree versions. That's really, really good. And yeah, it's a good ride, two times over the top, but the best thing about it, again, are those views. Absolutely spectacular across the sea, the cliffs, all the greenery and landscape around here and that ride really does let you appreciate that yeah really really good addition to the park gonna head into Dodo Valley now <laughs> let's go take a look and have a bit of a bit of a comedic walkthrough and here we are in Dodo Valley then oh, yeah let's take a look hey love the birthday cake there 180 years like I say founded by Alexander de Bell this park all the way back in 1843. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> and of course, you've got some uh, interactives here as well. You press the old button. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Sounds like Homer Simpson. <laughs> See what this one does here. Go. Oh, there we go. Go. <laughs> got some black gang beans over the back there. Oh! <laughs> and on the other side of the bridge as well, you got some more. Oh wow! <laughs> Bit of dodo rendition of staying alive there. <laughs> yeah, expect lots of wacky walkthroughs in this park. <laughs> Look at the big hi-fi system here. <laughs> Oh, there's so much history, 180 years, absolutely fantastic. And of course, Black Gang China, a lot of the rides and attractions here have actually had to be been uh, relocated due to kind of landslip, landslides and coastal erosion, of course, because of the location. So yeah, this has changed a lot since I last visited here many, many years ago. <laughs> Here's the Black Gang beans. <laughs> Yeah, of course, we've got some new rides here since I last visited as well. And some new walkthrough attractions. What about this guy? Nothing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yar, it's Pirate Dodo. <laughs> And as mentioned in the intro then, sadly, there are no more operational roller coasters here at Black Gang Chine. There was one called Cliffhanger just last year, was sold to Dreamland Margate and now operates over there as Rock and Roller. Captain Jack's though here, which is just kind of a little eatery here at Black Gang Chine, is a little bit of a uh, reference really to the only remaining roller coaster in the entirety of the Isle of Wight, Captain Jack's Runaway Train, and that can be found at the Pirate's Cove Fun Park, not too far from 
Black Gang Chime. And just to the right of Captain Jack's then, what have we got here? A musical pet shop. Oh. What have we got in here? Box of penguins? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Got some more interactives here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> Doggo? What? In all that's holy have I walked into here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, we got the tortoise down here as well. Hold on. Oh, I was expecting a good little animatronic there. <laughs> what about the cat? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna back out of here very slowly. Yes. Right, well, there we are. <laughs> but talking about theming of this park, uh, yeah, some of it is absolutely fantastic. Of course, we've got Cowboy Town here to check out as well. But yeah, this pirates area is all really, really cool. Yeah, love all this. This is really nice. Nice kind of upside down boat going across the top there. Yeah, of course, this is an off peak day today, so you'll find a lot of the eateries and the little stalls will be closed off for today. Oh, we got the quack shack over the back. Hey, this boat's fantastic. Look at that. Sails on there, the flags. And of course, here we have the vortex, which is a little trommel tunnel attraction. Let's see if it's working. Oh, it's really dark in here. Hey! Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's just a little walk through uh, Trommel Tunnel. Hey! <laughs> if I remember rightly, I think that used to be... I want to say Smugglers something? Smugglers Run? I'm not quite sure. It was something else. It wasn't called Vortex. You can see the signage up the top there. It was definitely something different when I last came here. Yeah, got some more of this great theming here in the pirate section. The mermaid here. And we got the Quack Shack as well, which is a little arcade of the size of these bones. <laughs> yeah, you got your grabbers in there. Oh, and look at the views here. Absolutely spectacular. And just to give you some idea of the park here, take a quick look at the map. Yeah, this is where we are at the moment, in this kind of general area here. And uh, yeah, because it's not a huge park, but yeah, lots of walkthroughs and other areas like the Underwater Kingdom and Cowboy Town is right over here as well. Rumpus Mansion, that's an absolutely fantastic kind of haunted walkthrough, if you like. Vortex is what we've just seen here as well. Obviously you've got Dodo Valley, Crooked House we'll be checking out. Uh, next, obviously Extinction here. Now this is where Cliffhanger used to be in this area here. Of course, like I say, that's been removed and sold to Dreamland Margate. But yeah, we'll go across here, check out the Crooked House. Restricted Area 5, of course, we'll take a little look at later on to see all the dino animatronics. And yeah, the Underwater Kingdom is also pretty good as well. Let's go check out the Crooked House. And just before we get to the Crooked House though, we've got the Chocker Block just in front of you there where you can get some cakes and drinks and chocolate bars and stuff. But look at this. Who's this? <laughs> Hello. And what does this remind you of? Absolutely, yeah, this is just like uh, the F-Telling. Basically little litter bins that talk to you. He hasn't got a suck on him though, like the ones that the F-Telling have, but uh, yeah. You put your rubbish in there and he talks to you. <laughs> Got no rubbish for you yet though, fella. And here we are at the Crooked House then. 1968 this opened. It's been here for a lot of years, but it was completely refurbished in 2022 and is now kind of themed around cowboys and fairies. Yeah, let's go take a look. Yeah, you got all these kind of this artwork here on the right. There he is. It's the cowboy. Wait, no beans for the cowboy? 
That's disgraceful. <laughs> oh wow, it's small. This is going to be very similar to the one I went in in uh, Adventure. Oh wow, Adventure Island. <laughs> it's it's a tight squeeze. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> what, <laughs> what a bizarre scene. Wow, okay. Oh, there we are. He's got his cactus there. And that's what we got here. Oh, well, there we go. Someone in the shower there. <laughs> what, the bubbles? Man, it's pretty dark here. Oh, looks like we've got an emergency exit that's uh, been left open there. Whoa! Can you oh, give wow. us a hand here, Reggie's? Oh. I need one minute more of them when I'm walking the plank! Whoa now! Uh. Oh, scuttling cuttlefish! Those plates were me nans! <laughs> wow! Wow! That was really loud! <laughs> hey! Oh, it's time! And you're looking great! This way! Oh, thank you! I don't feel great. <laughs> oh, here we go. We can start without you. Now let's do this. That's it. Dance like there's a snake in your boot. <laughs> the dinosaur on the dodo. <laughs> oh wow, this is uh, yeah. This <laughs> it's all kind of uneven flooring as well. And yeah, pretty dark in here. This really is dancing on the scene. Well, now where are we going? <laughs> there we go. What's going on now? Oh wow. Okay. Upside down Outside cowboys. We shook things up now we've got like a T-Rex or something at the bottom. Feel free to hit with us <laughs> anytime you like. <laughs> Easy there. Oh, there's the fairy again. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's the end of the crooked house. I love these bizarre walkthroughs. They're great. <laughs> and there we go. But will Sam get cake? Yeah, who knows? There we go, the Crooked House. And here we are about to check out the underwater kingdom now. And actually thinking back to what I said about the vortex being smugglers something, I think it was smugglers cave. And actually on second thoughts, I believe this is what used to be smugglers cave back when I was last here. This actually opened in 2017. Yeah, I can't remember what, uh, what the vortex attraction used to be called. So uh, yeah, I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to have a look up on that. But uh, yeah, here we are, the underwater kingdom. Heading into the cave here again. Look at all this theming here with the barrels. And the netting, oh wow, this is great. Yeah, all the audio playing here. Really atmospheric in here, this is great. Yeah, look at this. And all kind of the fairy lights on the ceiling there as well. Nice and cool in there as well. It's actually pretty warm today. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, this has changed quite a bit. Who's this? You see, he my is. legends of ancient <laughs> kingdoms have fueled my children's dreams, and they have run off through the reef as they seek what they've not seen. <laughs> I'm so worried they'll wander deep. With all Good little animatronic, that. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is great. Hey, the eyes on this guy. <laughs> oh, I love the sound effects around here as well. Got the nice soft flooring as well. All themed in as well. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it really is a great park. Like I say, there's not too much in the way of rides here at all. No coasters and only a very few flat rides. However, it's not really about that here. It's about these just wacky walkthroughs and the atmosphere. <laughs> there is an event here at Black Gang China as well, starting from next Wednesday, the 26th of July, which is Summerfest. They have lots of fun, music, and foam. Every Wednesday. Oh, look at this. There's Nemo. <laughs> oh, the theming here is great. Hang all the speaker installations up on the trees here, blasting out the audio. Really, really immersive. Really like this. 
Oh, nice colourful seahorse. Everything looking really fresh as well. Look at this. <laughs> what a great walkthrough. Who said that? <laughs> Here he is. There's some great props around here. A little seahorse. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, really nice immersive area that. Like I say, opened here back in 2017. Still looking really nice and fresh. Crow's nest. Oh. What do we think? Should we try and get a... Should we crawl through here? Is there anything in here? Well, I think there's only one thing for it. Oh, well. It's a little tight. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, wow. There's lots of scenes in here. Look at this. Yeah, little scenes to look at in here. Wow. It's, uh, it's not the most spacious for someone who's six foot three. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to do these things. Is there something in there? There's something in there. It looks as though the lights aren't working in that particular scene. It's, it's not good for the knees. It's the soft flooring, but... Yeah, it's, it's not comfortable. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, where do I go? <laughs> oh, is that another scene? Is that the back of the other one? Ah, it's just the back of the other one. Ah, wow. I gotta say, oh, here we go. I can actually stand up in here, kind of. Uh oh. Looks like we're trapped. <laughs> Which way do I go? Left or right? Yeah, let's go left. Time to duck down again here. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, another scene in there. And, oh, nope. That's a dead end. <laughs> I think we were supposed to go right. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again here. Oh, I feel like some kind of intrepid explorer. <laughs> what have we got here? Another scene in there. Got some fish. Again, all looking great, nice and clean. Oh, and there's the exit. Oh wow. <laughs> this isn't gonna be, uh, this isn't gonna be pretty. Someone of my stature crawling out of here. Hello? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that was an interesting walkthrough. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, just clean off the knees there. And there we are, back to it. <laughs> it's good though, little areas like that, it's good to see. Great photo up here as well, look at this. The big shell, looks great. And look at the size of this whale here, absolutely humongous. Wow. I wonder if that's a replica of the actual whale, 19 meters long. It's actually uh, still in the museum here. Founded all the way back in 1843. It was basically one of the very first attractions in this park. It washed up on the Needles Coast in 1842, and they still have the skeleton in the museum here, which we'll take a look at a little bit later on. And I'm sure this must be a replica of that same whale. Absolutely huge. Fantastic prop. And we're out of the underwater kingdom now then, and just heading into the creepy area of the park here, Rumpus Mansion. Yeah, let's go take a look. Now this haunted walkthrough actually opened as part of the park's 150th anniversary back in 1993. It's an interesting walkthrough, this one. Here yeah, once was a fine house, spacious, warm and bright, where the island's lords and ladies danced all through the night. Yeah, just got myself a coffee as well from Chock-a-Block. <laughs> £2.80 for a nice cappuccino. But then the Bogarts, the Brownies and Elves, in they came, took over the mansion. Now things aren't the same. Well, there we are. <laughs> oh, there's one more. Hidden in the trees, 
It's dark and it's gloomy, the humans have fled, it's a fine house no longer, it's rumpus instead? Ah, well, let's go take a look. Yeah, it's a pretty quiet day today here at the park. There is a school trip here. So there's kind of a, a crowd of the younger kids wandering around, but otherwise, like I say, it is an off-peak day today, so it is pretty quiet. Yeah, look at this. This looks great. Rumpus Mansion. Let's take a look. Oh dear, it's safer to roam in groups two or more. Oh no. <laughs> Who's this? What's this heartless red drop is that? Because he'd rather see you dead. He'd love to squeeze out all your blood and put it in his head. <laughs> okay then. It's all very creepy. Is he supposed to do something? Oh. Oh wow. There we go. Look at that. Now I believe some of these actually should trigger themselves when you walk in front of a sensor. I believe this one should as well. But he doesn't seem to be working. And then some of them have these kind of faces here that you can tap to get them working. There you go, hit that one with my foot. <laughs> Look at the props in here. Oh, oh what have you done? <laughs> Caterpillar babies, dragonflies, and bees. <laughs> oh, it's and the chandelier up here. Our circus troop of elves. So hold on to the wow. lanterns. You got the bookcases in here as well. Oh, wow, look at this guy. <laughs> it's pretty creepy in here. Here. The knockers of corn and cobbles from me. Mine told the good many slack. The knockers were hard to enter. Once the cobbles just put it all back. Cobbles? Oh! A bit of a jump scare there. <laughs> yeah, look at all this, all these stained glass windows. Very creepy. All the heads here as well. The opening crypt. Hey! Little Pepper's ghost effect. <laughs> Look at the mustache. Smashing and growing and battering and flying. It is pure evil doing that maketh that land. <laughs> What's going on here? On this door. For many a fool will have done this deed and never been seen no more. Beyond the street, once again, a prince that may be entered will soon be slain one thousand years and wake up with false danger. Oh wow. This is a very, very eerie place. <laughs> God, look at that. <laughs> to show the truth within your heart in what I've sworn to do, so you'd better prepare for a mighty big scare when you see the real you. Oh no, here we go. It's the real me. Press the button. Nothing. It's a guy with a GoPro. <laughs> oh no! Whatever that is, it's not working. Yeah, I love all the audio playing in here as well. Really, really sounds good. Really kind of makes it. Now, that's an interesting scene. Wow. <sighs> The 
The models are really quite detailed. It's really, really good. Look at the grasshopper there. <laughs> Tis these sweet two throughout our land who bless the fields and flowers, command the sun to shine, and bring us cool, refreshing showers. Wow. Some of the some of the scenes are really detailed. Yeah, really, really impressive. You know, all the architecture in here looks really, really nice. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it's a pigeon taking a bath. <laughs> Look at that. I think there's usually something... Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I was about to say there's usually something that pops out of here, if I remember rightly, but it looks like all we've got now is one of the pistons coming up with nothing on it. A <laughs> little bit of TLC required there. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it was. Was it a fish or something or a salamander? I can't really remember. There was definitely something on there. Oh, wow. Look at this. The fairy queen has ordered that her steed be shod and groomed and harnessed with all speed. The smithy dwarf regards with baleful glare the haughty beast whose shoes he must repair. The dwarf, with understandable misgiving, <laughs> has doubts as to the way he makes a living. The unicorn, with sharp and well-aimed hoof, prepares to kick the dwarf clean through the roof. That's not very nice. <laughs> Poor dwarf. <laughs> The now Oh my god. What's that? Welcome What are you doing to that poor frog? Look at the eyes on him. Nasty witches. Yeah, this is quite a long walkthrough. I can't remember it being quite this long before. Yeah, it's great. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, that's a that is a creepy scene. Look at that. A wondrous being, so legend told, took lake and river for her. Whence nature flocked to celebrate a awesome beauty, charm, and grace. That's great. But in her wake lies another fate for unwary. You got a little mirror ball up there as well. Who'd take the chance to dip into a? And there we are, the way back. Yeah, some really impressive models in there, quite detailed, and some of the scenes actually pretty spooky. A couple, of, a couple of the parts weren't working, audio was working in most of the areas. Yeah, it'd be nice to see a little bit of TLC in some parts as well, but otherwise, yeah, still a really good attraction. Right, it's time to head over into Cowboy Town now. This is another a fantastically themed area of this park. Looking forward to head back into here again. Let's go check it out. And just coming out of Rumpus Mansion then, look what I found. It's the mouth of hell. <laughs> now this actually opened back in 1972. Now last time I came here, it wasn't actually in this place. It was relocated in 2016. It used to be over where the dinosaurs are now. Yeah, look at that. You can crawl through if you're super tiny and get through there. Or, oh wow, this is a lot smaller than I remember it. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, that's cramped. Yeah. Oh, there we are. There we are. We're inside the mouth of hell. Oh, it's quite warm in here as well. There's Satan. <laughs> see what I mean about this park though? It's just weird and wacky things to see and walkthroughs to do. Look at this, you can even go up here. It's like a stage. Oh, wow. You can look out of his eyes. There you are. And yeah, really narrow steps here. Oh, it's really warm up here. Wow. Yeah, look at that. You can see, uh, see over kind of the stage here. Oh wow, this could be dangerous, me trying to attempt to get down here. It is pretty, pretty narrow. 
and there we go. Let's head on out. <laughs> and here we are, Cowboy Town and La Cantina to the right, Snakes and Ladders and Fairyland off to the left. We've also got some general stores this way as well. Cowboy Town. <laughs> now this is probably one of the best themed areas of the park. Now I'm not actually sure because I haven't seen the dino walkthrough yet. But uh, certainly last time I came, this was really impressive. <laughs> Boot Hill. Doug Grave. Phil de Graves. <laughs> and Granny Smith who choked on an apple. Just in time. Missed the train. And guilty as well. <laughs> Love all the audio blaring out here as well. Got the old cow skull on the top with the lanterns. <laughs> now this used to actually be known as Buffalo Creek in Isle of Wight County before its relocation here back in 1994. Beautiful sea breeze coming in as well. Yeah, it is pretty warm at the moment, 21 degrees. So yeah, appreciate that sea breeze, that's really nice. And here we are, there's Buffalo Creek Station. Look at the theming around here. Really, really works with all the cliffs. Absolutely fantastic. We've got another stage here as well. No shows happening today, but we do have a stage here. There's also one over by Chocker Block as well, and also Rumpus Mansion that will be in use during Summerfest for lots of shows. Look at that backdrop. Fantastic. All the props on the stage there. Yeah, look at this, look at these stores. <laughs> Got the shop there, general stores. You can get some merch. We little toys and stuff in there, like cap guns. Sheriff's badges and all that kind of stuff. Cuddly toys. Absolutely great theming, look at this. Little play areas for the kids there as well. Dusty's trading post. And the National Bank. I might go in and see if I can take out a loan. <laughs> You've got the little chapel to the right as well. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, there's the little chapel here. I head on in. I feel a bit guilty going in here now after just meeting Satan. <laughs> yeah, nice. There's not much in here. It's just a little bit of a, an undercover building, just in case it rains. Yeah, we got the what is this little plinth? Repent, and thou shall be saved. I think I could give a sermon in here. I wonder if anyone would listen. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, we'll check out the National Bank now as well. Well, I don't know what I've just walked in on here. Looks like a bit of a hold-up going on. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there goes my idea of getting a loan down the pan. The gun here. Bit of a long barrel. Oh dear. Well, I'll leave you to it. Sorry, buddy. I'm not in, hero I'm not in a uh, heroic mood today. And here we go. The guns here. Little army boxes. Look at that. Little pile of gold. With the gold bullion. That's what, uh, that's what he's after. Ah, <laughs> oh, this, this, this park's great. <laughs> Absolutely great. I stand in the way of you. There you go. There you go. Now you can't get shot. I'll, I'll take one in the back for you. And we've got the Buffalo Creek Shooting Gallery here as well. Yeah, as you can see, little coin-operated guns. Hey, your typical shooting gallery. Oh wow, those guns are pretty heavy. Way out west. Fantastic. Eight plays for eight pounds. Wow, that's not cheap. That's not cheap at all. We also got the Root and Toot and Tots here as well. It's a little play area for the kids. And you've also got the Undertakers here. Little photo opportunity where you can stand in a coffin. And there he is. There's the funeral director. What are you writing on there? No idea. Oh, yeah, there we are. Stone effect markers, your name here, only $3. 
So yeah, if you want to stand in a coffin, then there you go, this is the place to come. And you've also got La Cantina here in Cowboy Town, which is a little eatery slash cafe where you can get some food and drinks and lots of outdoor seating here as well, which is really good to see. Dogs are also allowed in the park. You also get dog bowls with water here. And we've got another one of those sucky bins. <laughs> He's well themed in as well. That's great. I just love all these buildings here. They really do look fantastic. Look at this guy. He's got his double barrel shotgun. We got the post office here. Yeah, some of these areas are just, you know, shelters from kind of the rain and the wind if you've got a particularly bad weather day at the park. Just somewhere to sit in here. Here we go. Serve your stamps through here. And there he is. But in terms of a bit more of a detailed walkthrough. You do have the Last Chance Saloon here as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, let's go take a look in here. Through the swinging doors. Hey, there you go, fella, have a bottle of Jack, please. Or your best, whatever you've got. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Everyone's sat around here enjoying their drinks. Oh, they're playing some cards. Oh, I see. Hey, yeah, less of that in here as well. Yeah, all really well detailed in here. Yeah, look at this, the chandeliers hanging from the ceilings as well. And we have a little bit of an upstairs to go and check out. They give some good views over Cowboy Town on the balcony just up here. There we go, there's James Butler Hickok. Wild Bill. Hickok? Highcock. No idea. Yeah, you can really kind of appreciate all the buildings and stuff here and the way it's all laid out. Love the kind of seating here for La Cantina in those old kind of wagon wheels. Yeah, it's great. You got know, little kind of interactables there for the kids, the horses, great little photo op. It's a great area, this. Again, I've not seen the dino walkthrough. Extinction Area 5, is it? Not seen that yet, but I don't think it's going to be quite as good as this area. And there's the snail mail services that we were just in. Yeah, it's great. You've also got some toilets here as well, just back on the ground floor, just off to the right there. And then you exit left to come out of Cowboy Town. And right next to the Last Chance Saloon then, you've got the Sheriff's Office. Yeah, some great photo opportunities to be had in here. We've got some real jail cells, look at this. Yeah, nothing fake about that. That's proper iron. And yeah, you can get uh, put yourself in there and get someone to actually lock the door. <laughs> Make some great photo opportunities. You've got a bed. No toilets though. Yeah, that's not very comfortable. Yeah, you've got some more jail cells over here as well. <laughs> yeah, and these actually do lock as well. It's fantastic, it really is. And of course, you can put your hands on the bars here and get some great photo ops. Yeah, really, really cool. <laughs> then just to the left here, you've got the John. There he is, that's where the toilet is. And here we have Snakes and Ladders, which again is a little kind of family-friendly child play area here with lots of different slides and things to climb up on. Not open in wet weather, this one. There's a little look at the health and safety board there as well. Not going to actually head on into here because it is mainly for kids and their parents. So I'm not going to take up any capacity for this. We're going to head on down into Fairyland, which is just down this way. And on approach to Fairyland there, and look at this. Was he an imp? He's got kind of cloven feet. Yeah. And here we are in Fairyland then. There's the old mushroom garden where fairies like to dance and sing. Oh dear. Oh, this guy's seen better days. Oh. What's happened, fella? It's because it's a Wednesday, it's midweek. Yeah, there you go. There's the little gnome on the toadstool. Yeah, love all this. Absolutely fantastic. And actually, this really does, speaking about uh, the F telling earlier, with regards to the Lidabins, this is probably the closest we've actually got to the F telling's fairy tale gardens. Look at this. The audio playing out here as well. Love these little huts. And the castle in the back there. Oh, it looks great. Again, all really well maintained, all nice and fresh. 
All the planting and the landscaping looks really good. Great area. And there's a frog. I'm gonna kiss him several times, potentially. Yeah, look at this though, this is, this is great. And this is what makes Black Gang Chime. Areas like this, the walkthroughs, the props, the scenery, the audio, all comes together to make a really immersive package here. And for just 23 pounds on an off-peak day, absolute bargain. Look at this, the detailing on the castle, it's great. The Black Gang shield at the top there as well. And yeah, it is a walkthrough. You can go in right up to the top. Now, here we are, inside the castle itself. We got a little scene going on in here. Oh, she doesn't look too healthy. What's going on there? And yeah, here we are, great views over Fairyland. Fantastic. And yeah, you can go even higher up through here and actually out of these doors as well onto that little balcony. And heading out of Fairyland now then, we're going to check out the other side of the park and check out Restricted Area 5, which is all the kind of dinosaur animatronics. And we'll take a look at Evolution as well, which was a ride that opened last year, but is currently undergoing some scheduled maintenance. Yeah, really, really like Fairyland. And like I say, it's the closest thing that we have to F. Telling's Fairy Tale Village. Great for the kids and some great photo opportunities there as well. So uh, yeah, let's check out Restricted Area 5. I've been calling it Extinction Area 5 throughout the vlog, I think. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> it's Restricted Area Area 5. Let's go take a look. And just a quick look at what would have been the entrance to Evolution then. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that this is out. However, it is scheduled maintenance. The park did notify on their website that it was going to be closed. Yeah, it's just a little 40 foot tall uh, junior drop tower, this one from Moses Rides. Nothing too special, but I suspect that at the top of there you would have got some pretty spectacular views because obviously it clears that tree line and I imagine looking out over towards the sea and that would have been quite spectacular. So yeah, it's a shame to miss out on that. Just to the right of it, though, is a hedge maze that's been here since 1963. It was actually extended in the late 60s. And yeah, it's, it's a fair size. I'll certainly be steering clear of this one after what happened at Newbury last year. <laughs> it took me about an hour to get out. But yeah, nice little hedge maze there. It's not too high either. You can kind of, if you're an adult especially, see over the top. However, yeah, like I say, I'll still steer clear of this one and we'll head down to Restricted Area 5. And here we are then at Restricted Area 5. Now this opened back in 2014 and actually replaced Dinosaur Land, which was kind of a similar experience really. And some of the original props have actually been retained from that. However, these, uh, these, these props are great and some of them are animatronics as well. Really, really quite impressive, some of these. Yeah, look at this, you got the babies with the eggs over the back. You've got the Chime Cafe down this end as well, if you want to grab yourself some food and drinks, lots of seating, indoors and outdoors as well. Yeah, love these, look at this. There we go. I feel like that could be an animatronic that's maybe not working. Looks like it's moving a little bit, but I think there should be a little bit more movement than that. But look at this. Love the way they've ruined all the flooring here and smashed through the fence. That's great. Great scene. Yeah, fantastic walk through this. There you go, is the, are they raptors? There yeah, should be some audio playing out of here. It doesn't look as though like that's currently working. There's the eggs there. Yeah, it is a little bit quiet around here. Could do with some audio. Let's take a look through here. Yeah, this has changed quite a bit from what I remember. Here we go, is the other side. Hey, <laughs> look at that, that's great. Fantastic. And here we are then entering enclosure one. Look at this guy. Looks like he's got a little water jet inside his mouth there. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> that would have caught me out because I only just uh, saw him at the last minute. <laughs> yeah, I like all of this, all this kind of fencing to make it look as if it's electric fence. Oh, it actually says here, danger low voltage. Low voltage, not high voltage to keep this guy out. The size of him. <laughs> Look at that though, what a scene. 
all the sea in the background and all the landscaping. And yeah, there's some great information boards around here as well. As you can see, some of the dinosaurs here are actually brought in by helicopter. Apparently it was broadcast on Blue Peter. Never saw that episode, but uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. When you consider the location of this park and the size of these props, can't really imagine any other way to really get them here. Yeah, fascinating, really. And look at the size of this guy. His neck's so long, he's actually had to be held up here <laughs> by this support. <laughs> It's even tied onto the railing here. Wow. Absolutely huge. Argentinosaurus. Meaning of the name Argentina lizard. Weighed 110 tons. Eight meters tall and 35 meters long. Wow. Really is impressive this. Great area. It's not quite Cowboy Town. I really, really love Cowboy Town. There's a bit of nostalgia there for me as well, but this area is fantastic. Look at that. Wow. That is absolutely huge. Wow. That is incredible. I feel like a lot of the animatronics are not working today. I feel like that's probably gonna be one as well. So it's a little bit of a shame that they're not working. However, that is immense. Hard to appreciate just how huge that is on camera, I think, but that is a very, very large prop. Impressive. Yeah, I'm actually blown away by the size of that prop. As an area, I might prefer Cowboy Town, but that is the most impressive thing here. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, I have just been told by a member of staff that this actually is an animatronic. Usually the eyes kind of blink, the mouth opens, there's audio here, and the tail kind of moves backwards and forwards as well. Uh, so it's a shame that that's not working. Hopefully that, uh, you know, starts up again real soon. It would be nice to have seen that, because, yeah, without the audio and without any movement, kind of lacks a little bit of atmosphere, but still, it really is an impressive prop, that. Absolutely huge. And of course, just to the left of that, we had the other huge guy that we saw earlier. I wonder if that's like a permanent thing, that neck prop there. That kind of neck support. Maybe, maybe the area is kind of undergoing a little bit of maintenance at the moment. Perhaps that'll be removed. Hopefully it does get removed. Maybe the structure's just become a little weak over time. A little bit of TLC required, perhaps. As we continue the walkthrough of the area. Yeah, something for the kids to climb on there. A little soft flooring as well, which is good to see. And the same in here as well. Yeah, really nice. I have a feeling that it was around this area. Might have been here, actually, where the mouth of hell used to sit. If I'm not mistaken. Now it looks like you've got all these eggs and stuff here. I mean, the mouth of hell definitely makes more sense over in kind of the spooky area near Rumpus Mansion. Whereas this is full of only dinosaurs. Oh, and what have I found here? Somebody's house. Wow, the size of the hornet on the roof. That's a little scary. A massive snail as well. <laughs> Love the worm. Look at him. Oh, there we are, gardener's rest. Ah, oh, it's just a little, uh, another little covered area. Yeah, just to, you know, take a little seat out, out of the sun, out of the rain. Whatever the weather might be doing. Right opposite here, though, if you've got a fear of spiders, this isn't where you want to be. Look at this. Yeah, huge. That one on the back there is great. There's also a massive slug here as well. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> is he about to eat the slug? Do spiders eat slugs? I have no idea. Oh, wow. I don't know if you just saw that down there. There was a snake just literally gone through here. And inside the Chine Cafe now then, just to give you an idea of their menu, lots of selection here from pizzas to pasta pots to salads, hot and cold drinks as well. And yes, yeah, a sizable area in here with lots of seating. Got all this area down here. Got some seating on this kind of wooden platform here as well as seats outside. And then all the way down here as well. well. Obviously the counter just to your right. I've gone for a pepperoni pizza and a drink, which was 13.25. Yeah, I love these lights in here as well. Look at this. A little cloud effect on there. That's great. And here are the results then. My freshly cooked pepperoni pizza with a Coke Zero. Like I say, this was 13.25. 
Yeah, it looks good, nice and hot, smells fantastic. Service a little bit slow. Actually uh, took about five minutes from the time that the guy rang the bell before they actually gave me the pizza. <laughs> but uh, they did apologize. And of course, yeah, ready to tuck in now before we check out the rest of the park. And I've got to say, I just absolutely savaged that pizza, ate every single last slice. <laughs> yeah, really quite full now. So I'll let that digest a little bit before we get on some multiple re-rides on Extinction. Yeah, it's quite a sizable place, this. It's, uh, yeah, you know, lots of seating inside, but I do feel it looks a little tired and a little plain. Um, considering the area that it's in, obviously close to, obviously, the dino walkthrough um, and the Evolution Drop Tower, I do feel like it could be themed up a little bit. They could have done something quite special with that, but as it stands, it is kind of a little bit plain. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of spruce up, a little bit of theming would be nice to see there but uh, beautiful food though really 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 good <laughs> absolutely stuffed gonna head into the final area of the park now then and we're gonna check out pirate barrels and here's a quick look at pirate barrels then little flat ride here little mini teacups that opened back in 2006 yeah nice little family attraction there really good to see and just to the left here is dino enclosure which is where you would have found the park's one and only roller coaster cliffhanger, which, like I say, was removed last year when it was sold to Dreamland Margate. Now, this is just a kind of a dinosaur event that they're having here every Thursday over the next six weeks throughout the summer. And a lot of these props came from kind of restricted area five and other areas of the park. Here we've got a Jurassic dinosaur encounter through there to the back. And all this kind of themed seating here with all the grass. Love that scorpion. <laughs> yeah, you've got the themed in floor here as well. An animatronic over there that's not currently working, but you can see all the wiring for it at the bottom here. Yeah, and then after those six weeks, this will all be cleared away again, and it'll become something else. Hopefully at some point, I'll get a new flat ride in here. That'll be good to see. And in terms of rides that opened last year here at Black Gang Chine, we have Evolution, obviously, which is undergoing its maintenance currently. And then we also had Shipwrecked, a ride manufactured by Zamperla. Now, a little bit of a darker turn happened on Shipwrecked. When it was in operation, one of these hydraulic arms actually collapsed. So it's been SBNO for some time now. Now, I'm not sure whether Zamperla will come in, get this repaired, and we'll get it back into operation, or whether it'll be removed entirely. I hope it's not removed, because there's some great theming around here. Obviously, you've got the barrels and the netting here and the big boat. It looks really, really cool, and it would be good to see this back in operation really soon. Soon. And just next to that, you've got the Hall of Mirrors, of course. And that kind of all leads into the museum that's kind of behind here. Yeah, all looks really, really nice. Of course, you've got Alex DeBell and Sons, founder of the park. Yeah, all looks really nice. And then, yeah, is that, that dinosaur encounter just behind? Yeah, I would have liked to have seen that. But yeah, like I say, every Thursday, so I'm not going to be here for that. And then just through here, look who we've got. <laughs> it's Moby Dick. Love the seagull on the top of him there. <laughs> yeah, another little walk through here. Reminds me a little bit of the mouth of hell, actually, as we go through Moby Dick. Oh, oh, yeah, hit with a water jet there. <laughs> And there we are, the inside of a whale. Pretty atmospheric in here, all the whale sounds. And then out through the very small doorway at the end. Yeah, just a 15 second walk through. Yeah, another great addition to the park. And again, staying with that whale theme there. Well, the seagull has got the fish caught in his neck there. <laughs> all the barnacles on him. Yeah, it's great. And here is where we enter the museum and the Hall of Mirrors then. Yeah, and these two areas just to the right here. And of course to the left through here as well. Which is a little interactive here. Basically tells you the story of all the erosion that's happened here at Black Gang China over the years. And on the Isle of Wight, straight ahead is the Hall of Mirrors. And yeah, this is just that other exhibit. Exhibit kind of comes around here in a U-shape. This did actually used to go further, but they kind of took it out for the Hall of Mirrors in 2016. And in here you'll find the whale skeleton. Yeah, this is great. Tail of the whale, been preserved there. And you've got some of these other genuine fossils behind these glass cases here. 
Absolutely great. You've got all the history on the walls here. Actual piece of whalebone here as well. Of course, it was a fin whale. Gives you all the kind of facts and statistics there. Yeah, it's a huge skeleton. And it was actually 1844, so it looks like I was out by a year. I f thought it washed up in 1842 and was brought to the park for the park's opening in 43. But apparently it was the year after. Yeah, there's lots of facts about fin whales here. And you can actually walk right through the rib cage. Really atmospheric with all the whale sounds. There he is there. Can grow to 27 meters, longer than two London buses. It's great. Wow. And you got some more facts and figures there. Which kind of shows you how huge the guy was. But yeah, it's due to all these landslides and landslips and all this erosion that all these fossils kind of kept turning up over the years. Look at the model of the boat here as well. And just to take a look at the events that are happening at Black Gang Chine then over the next few weeks, you have Land of Imagination Live, which takes place on select dates between, now it says on here the 26th of July to the 30th of August, but I believe that's incorrect as the website states the 24th of July through to the 1st of September. And uh, obviously those are gonna be the more up-to-date dates for that event. So uh, yeah, I would say it's the 24th of July to the 1st of September. And then Summerfest happens every Wednesday, starting from next week, the 26th of July through to the 30th of August. And this one sounds like a good one, featuring foam parties, live music, fireworks, and late night riding as well, as the park will be open until 9.30 p.m., which is good to see. There's also the Sunset Sessions, which is actually more of an adult party here um, at Black Gang Chine. It's kind of a, features a sunset clifftop party for adults, and that takes place on the 4th of August. That features Ellie Sachs, and the 2nd of September actually features Dave Pierce as well. So yeah, some really good events coming up here at Black Gang Chine. And we're coming to the end of the day now, so let's get a ride on Water Force, the only water ride here at the park, and then get some re-rides on Extinction. I think we can take you on for this one as well. And yeah, as you can see, you've got three slides here, two of them open called Overflow, and then the enclosed version called Plug Hole. I'm gonna take a ride on one of the open ones. Let's go on. And here we go on Water Force then. Overflow number one. Is it gonna be a soaker? I don't think so. <laughs> we'll soon see though. Here we go. Are we gonna win? Let's go. Oh, he got away first. Way! Oh, that time! Oh. Way! And some on-ride footage there then of Water Force. Yeah, road uh, overflow one, one of the open slides. And yeah, not a soaker at all, just as a kind of one or two out of ten, a little bit down the back. However, those rides really kind of depends how quick you get yourself off at the start, depending on what kind of airtime you get. Got some serious airtime on that double down. Yeah, that was really, really good. Anyway, getting towards the end of the day here at Black Gang Chine. So I'm gonna go over back to Extinction, get some more re-rides, and then we'll be wrapping up today's vlog. After three more rides on Extinction, we're back at the park entrance. And look who's made an appearance. Hey, oh, he's camera shy, see? <laughs> Good to see him working though. 
And with multiple rides on extinction then, and an appearance from the dragon himself, that brings us to the end of this vlog. And what can I say, it's been an absolutely fantastic day here at Black Gang Chine. Absolutely brilliant. Operations have been fantastic. A special shout out to the staff actually, have been really friendly, really kind of engaging with everybody. Really, really helpful. So yeah, that's been absolutely great as well. And look, I've said it, I've said it in this vlog before, it's the location that really does make this park. Some of the views here are absolutely spectacular. Obviously, you know, from Extinction, it looks absolutely incredible, even though you are <laughs> upside down. Um, Extinction, yeah great addition to the park for 2023 really really good just a 1.2 meter height restriction on that as well which is good to see and it's nice to see that maybe black gang are starting to think of perhaps bringing in some some thrill rides perhaps because at the end of the day look this isn't a place that uh, you, you will come to if you're after you know those thrill rides and those roller coasters there's really not too much of that here but it may be that they are starting to think about perhaps going into that direction as you could see with the addition of something like extinction you know it's the the first proper thrill ride that this park has ever had and it is a corker as well really really solid ride and of course it's great to have the 120 degrees and the 360 degrees uh, on that as well the museum here as well absolutely brilliant if you're really interested in kind of the past of this park you know for the whole 180 years you know the landslides and all the kind of relocation of the rides obviously the whale as well that washed up on the uh, needles beach back in 1844 which i've been corrected 1844 um yeah and uh, you know at the end of the day like i say yeah there's not a lot of rides here but it's a beautiful family park it's a relaxing day out and there's some absolutely fantastic walkthroughs here it's just an overall great themed experience that anyone can really enjoy you know uh, restricted area five absolutely great some of those props that you see in there of the dinosaurs absolutely incredible really really huge and then of course you've got the weird and wacky areas as well like the mouth of hell and dodo valley and things like that which is just just, you know really really quirky but they kind of really really make it and yeah like I say all set up against that backdrop of the sea and uh, it, it's just absolutely fantastic um, I'd like to see obviously the rides that opened here last year back up in operation as soon as possible obviously evolution and shipwrecked not too sure about shipwrecked but it'd be good to see that back in operation if they can um, and I'm not sure what's going to go uh, into the area where cliffhanger used to be like I say right now it's kind of that dinosaur encounter maybe at some point in the future they will get another flat ride or maybe even another family coaster in there um, at some point we'll see um, I'd also like to see that cafe themed up a bit as well like I say it's just a little bit boring it was kind of the main eatery here really um, sizable venue um, just needs a little bit of theming there um, to really kind of set it off I think some kind of dinosaur theming would be really really good and would really suit that considering the area that it's located yeah uh, it's just brilliant I I've absolutely loved my time here like I say it's been a long time since I last visited Black Gang Chai it's been absolutely fantastic to be back I hope to be back soon it is a part that I keep my eye on all the time and like I say if you are visiting over the next few weeks you've got those awesome events to look forward to as well so that's been it here from Black Gang Chine the next vlog coming up then we'll be back at Thorpe Park for day one of their carnival event now I missed that event last year so really looking forward to getting back into Thorpe Park checking it out for the first time and of course experiencing trailers break out at Bozo's that's going to be a good one so that's coming up next right here on Adventure planet but for now from black gang china i want to thank you so much for watching and as always happy riding everybody i'll see you back at thought park